everyone. I hope this finds you all healthy and happy. And I'm here tonight. Um, I thought I would take you along with me while I made a little tag here. Um, it's kind of an unusually shaped tag. It was a, um, a tag off of some clothing, uh, like a, oh, a hang tag off of some clothing. And uh, so I put some just some brown paint on it so far and um, and I had to sand it a little bit and put some brown paint on it um, and I'm <clears throat> about to put this this pretty piece of napkin down on there and um, what I should tell you is that this tag is for uh, Wendy Mason and Wendy is having a little challenge um, a challenge giveaway uh, for her channel and I will put the link to Wendy's channel in the description box below and um, you can go over there and uh, check out the her um, her challenge that she is doing and what she wants to do I think she's calling it her steampunk challenge I'm pretty sure that's what she's calling it at any rate uh, what she wants you to do is just uh, send her some items um, that she can use to uh, make um, another uh, another album or another journal. And the journal that she's working on, uh, or that she's giving away, the one journal that she made. It's a steampunk journal, and I just love it. And um, she's going to make another journal, and she is going, uh, she said she might give that one away as well, but it's going to be eclectic, she says, and um, she's going to use uh, the, the items, I believe, that people uh, send her. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and work on this, this little tag, and I have some other things over here, and she would like you to do a VR as well, and you can send her uh, painty papers, you can make her um, po a pocket, you can make her a tag, you can make her, um, you know, some little embellishments as long as they're, you know, fairly, fairly flat and not, um, she doesn't want a whole lot of bulk to the embellishments, you know, obviously, so she can use it in her, um, in her junk journal, or her journal, it's not going to be a junk journal, and, um, the only thing that she does not want that she asks specifically that you do not send her, and that is magazine uh, cutouts or uh, catalog uh, cutouts. She does not want those to be included in, in this. And those are the only things that she actually said she did not want um, people to send. So I'm just using some um, matte gel medium to put this on with and um, uh, it's a pretty little hummingbird on this pretty napkin and I, I know this napkin was gifted to me but I don't remember by who I am so sorry um, but yeah I just uh, put a little background on the down on the tag to get the uh, the actual clothing tag part of it so it wasn't as visible and so I I'm just gonna I'm just putting this napkin down on here and um, then after I get that down um, I'll give it a dry make sure it's good and dry and um, I will probably put this in fast forward now so that um, you know and if there's anything that I need to to talk with you guys about I will do that as I go along so okay there I got a couple pieces of napkin stuck in there there we go <laughs> so um, so I'll, I'll let I'll give this a dry quick and uh, like I said put it in fast forward and and we'll go from there um, I just thought this was such an unusual shape and it was so pretty and so I thought I would make this tag and uh, and Wendy said she would like you to also do a VR for her. If you if you um, uh, are able to do a VR, she would like you to do a VR. And she also wants you to show her what you're sending. Um, 
I kind of wanted it to be a surprise, but she wants you to show her. She said she would like that. So, um, so we'll go ahead and show Wendy, or I will go ahead and show Wendy what I have um, uh, gathered up for her for her challenge. So let me give this a dry, and we'll keep on going here with this little tag. And uh, I appreciate you watching very much. Okay, I'm back again, and um, my uh, this is where I'm at so far. Um, I like how the napkin turned out on there, and um, I've been making these little these little flowers out of uh, of baby wipes that you you know you use to to clean up your um, your projects, the, the extra paint and everything from your projects, and um, wipe up your workspace and whatnot and so forth. And I've been, um, Tanya McGuire showed how to do those. Um, there's been other people that have made flowers like that as well, but um, Tanya was showing how to make them and kind of reminded me again how to, you know, how to do them. And um, I will put a link in the description box below to Tanya's channel as well. So you can um, go there and take a look at how she makes these uh, little little um, flowers out of the out of the baby wipes. Um, and so I, I liked that one. I like that one on there. So I put that on there, and I'm going to go around uh, the um, the hummingbird just a little bit with my um, my glitter pens just to to give it a little bit of a of a highlight and uh, make it make the I, I don't want the the napkin to like um, pop off the page but I did want it to want you to be able to see the hummingbird just a little bit more and now the color of my glitter pen that I need is not doesn't seem to want to there it goes doesn't seem to want to work right now I have no idea what's up with that because I know it's not empty okay that's better it's working better now so I like I said I just kind of want to put a little bit of highlights on the hummingbird um, just very, 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 very few, very faint. Uh, and I'm going to, he does have a little eye. You can, can hardly see it. So I'm going to touch that with a little bit of my black gel pen. Um, maybe put a little bit of black in his wings, or in the one wing anyway. Just kind of want you to barely, barely see it. So, that's kind of what I have now. I think you can see some of the shimmer. Um, and I will go ahead and continue doing that and put this in fast forward again and do a little bit more highlighting on on the this in a couple other little places and um, I want a center for my flower and um, I might make a smaller tiny flower for up here as well and then I have my fibers and my ribbons and things like that ready to go over here to to put through it and um, then I think my tag will pretty much be done for Wendy's challenge so I'll put this in fast forward
that's you know just a, a little little tiny bits of highlights on on it with my little glitter pen little tiny tiny places on it just a couple little places um, I'm gonna go around it again with some black um, my black marker and because um, there's a little bit of funky edges showing and uh, um, I will see if I can't make a little flower for up here and or maybe a sentiment I think maybe I don't know I'll see what um, what what really takes my fancy and I'll I will show you then when I'm all done so hang in there with me just a little longer okay here we are almost done um, and this is what I have so far and um, it's amazing how uh, I had the exact color of the hummingbird in a gemstone I had um, the exact shade of green that's in the tag um, I even had the red and uh, nothing looked nice except the I think the yellow um, gemstone looks the best <laughs> it's funny how just something that small can make a big different make a difference to me anyway maybe I'm just weird but anyhow <laughs> so that's what I have so far and I think what I'm going to put on it is a sentiment and the sentiment is going to say appreciate beauty and these are just the Tim Holtz what are they um, ideology the Tim Holtz ideology um, and I'm just going to use the black ones the black letters um, I'll trim them down a little bit narrower here or a little bit smaller because I think appreciate beauty is kind of apropos for this tag and um, Wendy I certainly hope that you like it and I will show you here in just a second the other things that I have gathered up for Wendy um, and pop on over there to Wendy's channel if you don't know her already um, she's an amazing artist uh, she's she's so um, talented and does so many diverse things and uh, you just won't be sorry if you if you subscribe to Wendy um, so Okay, well, that's kind of what it looks like. Might go around the sentiment here a little bit and put my my fibers through. Just to hurry up and get that done. And um, I just picked some colors here that I thought would be kind of complementary. Um, didn't want it to just kind of wanted it to be have interest so I'll try and see if I can't get that to feed through there I know there's a Probably an easier way to do this, but I think I've got it. I hope you can sort of see what I'm doing. Everybody knows how to do this anyway, I'm sure. Push it on through there. There we go. Sort of pull it. I 
I think this piece of brown ribbon was actually hanging that the, the tag was actually hanging from um, that was the actual tag that or the ribbon that was on it I think looks like I might have my eyelash trim a little bit too long Just a hair. Okay. So that's what the tag looks like, all finished, that I made for Wendy. And um, so that's the tag. Let me move my yucky piece of craft mat away from here, the area here, so I don't get anything messed up and then um, this is going all the way to Australia so I was trying to kind of keep the weight down um, a little bit <laughs> it's just the, the post is just ridiculous <laughs> just absolutely ridiculous but so I've made Wendy um, a little pocket out of some music paper here um, and I'm not going to take this apart I there's a little embellishment here that I layered up and made and there's a little piece of like linen like fabric under there that I um, sprayed with some of my sprays and my tea tea spray and um, I clipped clipped in the, I just clipped it on the front of this pocket um, and just put a little note on there that says just a suggestion that's for Wendy if she wants to go ahead and use that little embellishment on the front of this pocket cool if she doesn't and she wants to do something else with it that's cool as well but there's a yeah there's a little tag or a little pocket that she can put in her journal um, I sent along a couple of these flowers um, they're flat, so, <coughs> pardon me, so she'll be able to, you know, use them also in her, in her journal somewhere, hopefully. Um, here's another little embellishment that I've made, um, just by layering up some scraps and things and a little piece of jute twine, and, um, I love making these. They're just fun to make, and they're, you just sit and just relax and relax. Here's a little little sentiment that says beauty is everywhere I've included that maybe she'll be able to use that someplace and um, this says two roads diverged in a wood and I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference just a little you know sentiment there um, here's a little itty bitty tag that I made um, several of these oh quite a while ago little teeny weeny tag so that she can maybe put that someplace in one of the one of the pockets or something of her journal here's a couple of um, pieces of ephemera that um, that I've I've collected I'm not sure where these came from but there's a couple little pieces of that that she can maybe use here's a little tiny it almost looks like an um, a recipe card type thing but it's printed on it's got it's kind of cute it's got like lines and numbers and and this one says howdy <laughs> and then here's a little piece of, of packaging that um, has has a pretty that maybe she can put use or for for something in her in her journal so there's those things and then um, this is the size envelope that I, I can fit everything in hopefully uh, it'll get there and arrive safely um, I'm sending Wendy um, a piece of my uh, one of my jelly prints 
sending that. Um, this was kind of cool paper. I'm not sure whether it's wrapping paper or what, but it's kind of got the little purple, um, purple dots, purple bubbles all over it. I like that. I'm sending some, um, some music sheet, uh, music sheet from a, from an old hymnal that, um, I got at the second, second hand store over here. And so I'm sending some music sheets. This is a real cool, um, it's plastic and it's an envelope or like a pocket or an envelope. Trust me, it really is. I can't get it open right now, but yeah, there we go. And um, I just, I don't know, I thought maybe Wendy is so talented. I thought maybe she could figure out a way to use that. It's just a little piece of brown paper. Um, one of my little painty papers, the most recent one that I've done. A couple of my, um, my coffee filters that Wendy can use. Uh, another painty paper um, and another smaller painty paper and then um, that's about it so far unless I can find something else that I want to um, put in there at the last minute but um, so that's uh, what I'm sending Wendy and um, I hope that this was okay I hope this is what you what you wanted oh there's something missing oh here it is it's this this piece of, um, I don't know where I got this, but it's really cool. It's kind of a, it's kind of like packing paper, only it's sort of green, <laughs> or not sort of green, it's very green, but anyway, um, yeah, so I thought I'd put, throw that in there as well, I mean, you know, just for a little something different, and like I said, as long, um, unless I find something, you know, else that I want to throw in there at the last minute, um, that's kind of what's coming your way, Wendy. And um, I'm so tickled to be a part of your of your challenge uh, giveaway. And um, I hope that everything arrives to you safely. And um, I'm going to try to get it out. Um, in the post here as soon as I possibly can. Um, it, I may have to wait just a little while till payday <laughs> because, um, because like I said, as everybody knows, the post is so awful, um, expensive. So yeah, so I will get this sent off to you just as soon as I possibly can. And Everyone, please go over to Wendy's channel. I will put the link in the description box below. And please, uh, if you don't know Wendy and are not subscribed to her, oh, you're missing out <laughs> big time. So get over there and subscribe to Wendy and, um, and um, join in her challenge. And until we visit again, uh, God bless you all. Bye-bye.